Hello and welcome to Let's Play Magicite Beta again. So, I've gotten a little bit better at this game since the last time that I played, so I'm just going to do one run today and try to explain some new crafting recipes and stuff that I have discovered. So, this guy looks pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and change his stats since you can uh, randomize his stats. And I also discovered recently that you have two traits on your character. So, like, some characters have uh, different traits. Like, this guy's a good miner and he's a pickpocket. I like to go for guys that have a potion ability because when I craft potions, which I didn't show you in the previous video because I had no idea how, uh, but when you craft potions, they are bigger and heal you more or give you more mana, which I don't know if mana is actually implemented yet or anything like that. But let's go ahead and make this guy. He looks pretty interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and chop down some wood. And I didn't get lucky and start with a diamondite blade today, which is probably a good thing because when you start with a diamondite blade, it makes the game a little bit easy. So uh, this this game should have proper difficulty scaling. Um, although uh, my biggest complaint, I'm not really complaining because this game is awesome and I love it, but my biggest complaint with the game so far is that it is a little bit easy. Um, and what I mean by that is the game gets easier as you go along because you get more badass, but the biomes don't really change in difficulty. So I'm going to go ahead and make another axe here. And then I'm also going to, um, I guess I have to chop down more trees for that, but I'm going to go ahead and make a sword as well. Uh, because I need to be able to fight the oncoming enemies. And I also discovered how to use stone properly, so... I don't stick with the wooden weapons for nearly as long anymore. Chopping down the trees. I am a lumberjack. Ho, ho, ho. Take that, slime. I'm gonna murder you in the face. Alright. I just leveled up, I think, twice. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, my wooden axe broke, so I need to make another one. The first thing you want to make when you have more wood is definitely an axe. Because if you don't have an axe, you can't chop down trees, and that gets really frustrating and kind of screws you over. So, let's just keep collecting wood until I have enough to where I don't need to worry about it anymore. Which you do get to eventually. I mean, this run... After I collect all of this wood, I'm going to make one more axe, and I'm also going to make a pickaxe so I can start getting some stone and make some stone utensils. I also discovered that um, even the diamondite blades and stuff do break, which is a little bit frustrating, but hey, that is life for you. So we're going to go ahead and make another axe, and... We're going to go ahead and make a pickaxe, just so I can start getting some stone. I want no more wooden utensils, only stone. Huzzah! Got to avoid the creeping vines, because they are deadly. So I'm just going to sort of wander over here, and I really like the feel of the levels in this game. You can just sort of platform around and explore and do whatever you want without having to worry too much. I mean, of course there are enemies, but they're not that difficult to avoid. This game feels really more like a, um, ex an exploration game than anything to me currently, which is really cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make another axe. just so I can continue deforesting the area like so and then I'm gonna go find that treasure chest or open it I've already found it I suppose ah those hogs man they are hard to deal with so I'm just gonna come up here instead and start mining this area for some stone and it looks like I have an ironite blade which is really cool so I'm gonna go ahead and make an ironite sword because that will do me a lot better than a wooden sword. I'm like a little kid with a wooden sword, but I'm like a warrior with an ironite sword.
not talking so much right now because my mouth is a little bit dry and I would love to have something to drink, but I left my glass of water in the kitchen because I am currently defrosting chicken for dinner. I need another axe, so I think I'm going to try, I don't have enough stone for it, I was going to try to make a stone axe, but I have to find some more rock for that first. Or stone, sorry, us classy people say stone instead of rock. And I'm... Yes! This one hit KOs, which is awesome. Those slimes don't stand a chance anymore. Well, let's go ahead and make ourselves a stone axe. Because that will do better than a wooden axe, and I should be able to collect enough wood to where I don't need to really worry about it anymore. I think this is... Yeah, this is still the first biome. I am... I need to... Oh, it looks like I need to eat something. My stomach is grumbling. So I'm going to try to kill some animals. Oh, I already have some meat. I'll just eat that. Although I have figured out how to cook meat now, so that is pretty cool too. And I also discovered... First, I want to avoid those things because they are dangerous little vines. And... Wow, this biome is big. But if you go over to these uh, plants over here, you can gather their ingredients, and you can use those to make potions, which is pretty nice. Like, I can make um, health potions, and mana potions, and mystery potions. And I'm not really sure how to make bigger potions, but hey, who really cares? As long as I have potions in general. If you... Oh yeah, I'm the potion master right now, so if I make potions, they'll be big regardless rather than having to find a way to make them big. So I'm going to go ahead and slay this thing. Suck it, bee. Or yellow jacket. Whatever you are, you're way bigger than I am, and that is not cool. I would love to find some iron ore, but I think I need a better pickaxe for that. Whoa! That guy was trying to kill me. So, let's go ahead and make a stone pickaxe, because that will be better than a wood pickaxe, and let's go ahead and make another stone axe just for when this one breaks, because everything in this game breaks at some point, because everything has a durability. Like, look at that, my stone axe is about to break. That unreliable fiend. So, hopefully I'll go to the city soon, and maybe buy some stuff, or smelt some ore that I don't have. Let's kill this bee and take his mystery treasures within and then start mining some more. Oh, I found some ironite ore. I think that having the better pickaxe definitely helps find stuff. Like with an iron, with a stone pickaxe, I definitely can't find gold meum or even if the rock has gold meum on it. So I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys and hope to level up and then I'm just going to head to the town. After I get, I guess I should harvest some more wood just so I don't have to worry about having wood. Although I already have 47 wood which is a pretty good number to have. I can make pretty much anything out of wood now. Oh no, the, the Scourge have come. Get out, which I don't think the Scourge are actually implemented yet, so right now it's just scary music and it tells me to get out, but uh, in the final version of the game, the Scourge will actually come and it will be terrifying. I'll be terrified for sure, I don't know if you will be. All right. Oh, and another neat thing that somebody discovered is there is a glitch in the game right now. So if you want to have duplicate stuff, like, um, let's say I make some wood, I can shift, I can shift click this, move it, and then shift click that, and I won't lose any of this. So shift click that, move it, shift click that, and again, didn't lose any of that. It's a duplication glitch, which is kind of nice. Um, uh, it's obviously going to be gone in the final version of the game, but it's a way to sort of cheat right now. I'm not going to use it because I feel like a dirty rotten cheater, but that is just something that you can know about. I don't have any enough ore to build anything right now, but I did discover you can build bone stuff, like bone blades. So I can make a bone pickaxe, but it, the, the bone materials are a lot uh, less durable than anything else in the game, and they don't do that much damage, so they're kind of worthless. So I'm just going to throw these bone blades away because I don't want to waste my time on them. And 
that looks about all for this town. I'm going to go ahead and murder these people and take their money because that's what good people do. Murder people and take their money. Which, again, I'm hoping in the final version of the game that NPCs might retaliate or attack you or chase you when you kill one of them because that would be pretty neat. Uh, back into the forest. I like the forest biome the best so far, although I've been to the dungeon and it was terrifying. I was like level 12 or something and I went to the dungeon and it just murdered me to death. There were so many enemies and they were all really scary. Getting that ironite or gonna make me some weapons. Suck it, B. Alright, I am definitely going to build some stuff with this ironite ore. Which, out of gold medium rocks, you don't get ironite ore. Go figure. So, you should really only mine like the next level up when you have a certain pickaxe, I guess. Because otherwise you're not going to get any ore, you're only going to get some stone, which is disappointing. For the character, not for the game, obviously. I mean, it makes sense, and it makes the game more of a challenge, which is really good. I want to kill you with my sword. Avoid that, which the double jump is very useful for. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more wood while I'm here because why the hell not? Also, my stone axe is about to break. Hopefully, I'm going to have some ironite stuff at the next level. Uh, so, don't need the bone blades. Don't need the bones. Uh, inventory management is very important in this game. Oh, wow. I have 99 wooden sticks there. I definitely don't need more. I got 99 sticks, but... Uh, but a thing ain't one. I was trying to make a reference to that song. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. But it just didn't end up panning out. So I'm sorry about that. Sorry to be such a disappointment, guys. I didn't mean to. Um, so I need to find more herbs so I can make some health potions. Because if you mix two herbs together, you get health potions. I don't know why I just ruined that for you. Um, but let's go ahead and make another stone... And I have enough ironite ore to make three ironite bars, so I want to mine a little bit more. So, we're going to go ahead and make another stone pickaxe as well for when this one breaks. And it looks like we have some ironite right here that I can mine and take and skedaddle. And I'm also running a little bit low on hunger, so I need to fix that. And leveling up is good, by the way, because it raises your max health, which is pretty nice. So if I find some more coal here soon, I'll show you how to make fires and cook meat, which is nice. Because cooked meat heals you a lot more than raw meat. Which makes sense, because raw meat in real life is pretty gross. Oh, that's a mushroom. Which you can mix... Oh, I don't have a root right now. If you mix a root with a mushroom, you get a mystery potion. And I've been figuring out this crafting stuff all on my own since the crafting wiki is a little bit outdated. Alright, I found another herb, so now I can show you how to make health potions. Shift click, shift click, now I have a big health potion because I'm a potion master. What a disaster. Eh, I didn't quite make the jump. There we go. I'm gonna go to the snow town. Snow town, ain't snow town for you. Um, that guy's not letting me smelt when I hit. Hey, I want to smelt my ores. I'm trying. Okay, some that's another glitch in the game. Sometimes it does not let you uh, smelt your ores, which is really a little bit annoying. So hopefully that will be fixed in the final. Or you have to be standing in the exact right spot. I guess you have to talk to that guy. Who knows? I don't. But let's make some ironite bars. And nobody needs that stick. And let's make some ironite blades. And let's make an ironite pickaxe. Don't need no need for a stone pickaxe. When you got an ironite pickaxe, you can get gold man. Which is cool. And let's go ahead and make an ironite axe as well. Just because I can. And we are going to move onward and forward in our adventure. I'm going to go ahead and go to the snow village in case you all missed that last time. It's a little bit more difficult than the forest, but hey, what fun is a game without difficulty? Oh, root. And mushroom. 
Ah, uh, I do not need these bones or this stone. Although I can make some refined stuff. Oh, there's a boss. This guy is pretty easy, said Chris before he died. I'm going to go ahead and heal up just so he doesn't kill me by accident. And he's dead. Although he did hurt me a good bit. He took like four health from me, which is quite a good bit of health to take from a dude like me. Oh, I found some coal and some ironite ore, so I'm going to throw this stone away and grab the ore. But I'm also going to show you how to uh, make a fire. So if I do this and make a fire starter with the coal, I can set up a fire here and then stand next to it. And if I use my meat next to it, it will cook my meat, which you can see going into my inventory. And cooked meat will fill up your hunger a lot better than raw meat, which makes sense. Although, I wish they had some salt and pepper because this meat is under seasoned. Ha 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 ha. That was such a knee slapper. So I'm chopping down these snowy trees. I need to get some wood. Not that I really need it. Because I've got plenty. Yeah, you throw those snowballs at me and I'm going to pound you in the face with a thing. Sword. Not a thing. It's not any regular old thing. It's a sword. Come at me, bro. I dare you. You too. And hopefully I should now be able to get some gold meum ore now that I have the... I, I can! Awesome! Let's throw this stone away, because it is worthless to me now. Also, let's get some herbs. I don't need this vial of poison, although I could show you what the vial of poison does, because it's kind of neat. I wish that guy would stop throwing snowballs at me, it's rude. And I kind of want to make more fire starters, so I'm going to throw these sticks away, and this stone away, and grab this here coal. Kill the bunnies. Because, let's face it, nobody likes bunnies. Actually, they're adorable, and I like them, so whatever. That guy is, like, right between those spikes, and I want him to move so I can just murder his face off. Alright, now we can actually make some progress, now that we've gotten past those scary dudes. And it also looks like I can make some health potion, which is a nice change of pace. Because, like I said, inventory management is a bit difficult in this game, which is neat, in my opinion. Uh, I definitely don't need the wooden pickaxe, but you really have to keep your inventory clean, otherwise you are going to run out of room. Die. And let's pick up some more ironite ore while we're here, just because it's useful. Wow, that's what you get for getting in the way of me mining, bunny. I murdered you. He did. He did. And so are these stones. Get me some ironite. I would like some more uh, gold ma'am. I would not like to be killed by a boar. Let's try to get him to run off the edge here, or not. It doesn't really matter as long as I just keep moving. Those guys I haven't figured out how to deal with properly yet. They are difficult to kill. Even when you hit them, they are still ramming you into the walls. And that guy is throwing snowballs. That rhymed. Which is why I said it. Because I'm a poet. And definitely don't need stones. I'm going to grab this herb. And I would like that meat. But I don't think it really matters. I'm just going to keep collecting ironite. So I can make maybe some armor or something. Which would be cool. And an herb, so now I can make another health potion. Don't need these bones. Got a health potion. Um, can make stuff better there. And you've been throwing snowballs at me for a while, so I'm just going to kill you. Die. 
Like I said, I would really like for some number hotkeys to be assigned to the slots in the game. That would be pretty nice uh, to help optimize the UI. And I'm just going to move on to the city. Now what can I throw away? I'm going to go ahead and make a mystery potion here because I don't know whether that's going to be poison, mana, or health, but whatever. And we're going to go ahead and make some more refined stone while we're at it. And hopefully there's a place to smelt some ores here. Ooh, neato, fire starter. Which I can make another fire starter with this coal and have multiple fire starters. Alright, there is a place to smelt ores, which is super useful. So now I have some ironite. And I can make a helmet and some armor. Which now you'll see that the graphics update properly and I'm actually wearing the armor, which is pretty cool. I don't know how much the armor actually helps, uh, but it is nice to have, I guess. Why not? It's armor. And here's a gold medium bar. I would like to have more gold medium ore. But let's go into the spider stage, where there are all these spiders that drop web when they die. Oh shoot, my sword is dead. I need to make another sword, guys. I have stone, I have one ironite bar, I shouldn't have wasted that. Um, let's go ahead and just make a stone sword, because that will be good enough for the meantime. Yeah, that'll work. Let's go ahead and kill us some spiders. Die. Die. And there is plenty of gold medium ore here to go around, which is nice. I can make some gold tools. If my if my ironite pickaxe does not break, which how is the durability on that going? I found out that you can check durability by hovering over it. I have 14 out of 80, so I should be able to get a few more uh, gold medium ores out of it if I don't waste if if I'm not wasteful on what I mine. I'm just going to be mining my own business. Ha 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 ha. Uh, that was another knee slapper. I'm just going to shut up now. Um, there are just tons of spiders here. And I feel like I might die if I don't heal. But luckily I am a potion master. I am, I am Snape the potions master. How have I not made that joke already? Wow. Well, I'm leveling up like crazy here, which is pretty cool. And my sword broke. So I guess I'm going to build another one. Um, don't need this stone. I've got plenty of stone. And I've got plenty of stone blades. And I've got a stone sword. And let's go ahead and get us some more gold man. Oh geez, spider alert. My spidey senses are tingling, and not the good kind. Alright, Ironite pickaxe is about to break, which is bad news bears for me because I would like to make some gold utensils, but I might not be able to. I should at least be able to make one gold thing, and I think I'm going to end up doing a pickaxe with that, just so I can keep mining the good stuff. Please die. Oh, I started recently, and there was a giant worm that was attacking me, so needless to say, I did not survive for very long in that game. Alright, all those spiders are dead, now I can find some more gold meum. Which I can also go ahead and make a stone pickaxe while I'm at it, uh, just because it'll be nice to get some more ironite as well. Like so. So I'm going to go ahead and eat some of this meat first. See, that fills up a lot more hunger, just so I'm not hungry anymore. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the stone pickaxe there so I can get some ironite or and gold me I'm more with my ironite pickaxe. Wow, plenty of rocks on these stages, which is, are these biomes, which is pretty nice. I'm really looking forward to see what new biomes come out with the final game. That'll be really fun. Ooh, coal. I think that's, nope, that's, I got, oh, it was ironite ore over top of coal. Up, oh, gold mammal. Please don't break. All right. And it's about to break. Yeah. So, no gold mammal for me. 
I'll bet if I had been smart about that and started it off with the stone one and then finished it with the ironite one, I would have done a lot better on mining my own business. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I find that so funny. I guess I'm just a funny dude. And my stone pickaxe is about to break, which is totally cool because I've got plenty of stuff. Alright, he's dead. And I still have one health potion, so I'm not too worried about my health. Okay, stone pickaxe broke. Uh, let's make one more. Which means... Oh, I got plenty of ironite. Um, cooked meat can go there. And here's a stone pickaxe. Woo! I don't need that. Yeah, that's stone. I don't need that. I got plenty of stone. I want to be moving up in the world, not moving down. I'm going to find myself a place and some gold medium utensils. Alright, a treasure chest. They always have good stuff in them. Herbs. Nice. Oh, I don't think these uh, spider caves have any sort of... Um, herbs that I can collect. Ah! I got caught on the edge there and I thought I was gonna get hit by them spiders. And I do not like spiders. Actually, I'm not even sure these are spiders. They are definitely insects since they have six legs. But they also shoot webs, so they're like spider insects. It's weird. And I guess we'll just go ahead and move on. Please be a place where I can... Okay, I can smelt some stuff. Let's do it. I get four gold bars, which is enough to make two things. And I have plenty of ironite. And web, you can do stuff with. I definitely don't need these stone utensils anymore, or this wooden sword. So I can clean out my inventory there. Which I also discovered, this probably won't be the same in the final, but it, it, it you can use... Uh, these guys is like sort of a bank, so if you smelt, if you go to the smelting menu and leave it here, then it will stay there. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this diamondite bar, so I can make some diamondite stuff eventually. And, um, let's go ahead and craft some stuff, so let's go ahead and make some ironite blades. And, what do I need iron of? Oh, I've got plenty, so... We can do, I have an ironite axe already, and it has pretty good durability on it, but I can go ahead and make, um... Oh, I can make a goldmium pickaxe, which is a lot better than this crappy stone one. And I can go ahead and make a, an ironite sword as well. Alright, we are moving up in the world. That has 80, that has 6 out of 55, I definitely don't need that anymore. And then we can go ahead and kill these dudes and take their money. Please die. Suck it. And you're not selling anything that I want. I'm giving you an offer that you cannot refuse, which is you giving me money. Let's try to find some more herbs so I can make some stuff. Okay, that bee is going to be problematic, so I'm going to try to kill it here. Awesome. He did. You did. Lots of stuff to kill. This is like a super platformer having to dodge all these snowballs. Ah, oh, it's a mushroom. Don't really care for that. I would like some herbs. Yeah, herbs. Now I can be healthy. Uh, don't need the monster goo, but I would like health potion, which frees up more space in my inventory. Oh, let's see if this is going to be a poison vial, because... Oh, it was. So you can throw poison, and if enemies go near it, then they get hurt. But for unfortunately, mystery potions, it's impossible to tell what they are. So, it's a mystery. Uh, I really only care about gold meum right now, so I'm going to only mine the gold meum rocks and go for gold meum ore. So I can build more gold meum stuff. Gold meum, not gold uum. It means it's for me, not for you. Ouch, I got hit. Oh, that guy's throwing snowballs at me. I'm going to go kill him. He's being a jerk. He's cheating. No more cheating. You have to play by the rules, dude, just like the rest of us. I can't go through the walls, neither should you. Alright. And there's some root. I don't really care for that. 
I do care for this meat though, because I'm going to be hungry here eventually. Not that it matters, I have plenty of cooked meat for the meantime, and hunger doesn't... Oh my gosh, would you just quit? Oh, I can only get hit two more times, I need to drink some health potion. Which, these guys are not going to let me do that until I kill them. So, let's take care of business. And then drink some health potion and take these herbs. Which I'm going to drop the mana potion because I don't know how to use magic yet. So it's kind of pointless for me to have it. Um, I want, I'm not even sure you can use magic in the beta. I don't know how to do that. Or what has magic, if anything. So, let's go ahead. Nope, I don't care about mining that. That guy is going to throw stuff at me, so I'm going to kill him. And here's a bunny who is going to drop off the ledge like a moron. Alright, herbs. Mushroom, don't really care for. Herbs, definitely care for. Um, let's come over here and kill this monster. The Abominable Snowman. This guy is going to come through here, and I'm going to mine this rock while dodging him because I want the gold man more. Okay, that was a tricky situation, enemies abound, but I made it out alive, which this video might be going a long time because I've gotten pretty decent at staying alive in this game, said Chris right before he died, a brutal death, which isn't going to happen because I'm doing awesome right now, not much could kill me easily. Alright, herbs. Now I can make like three health potions. I don't really need this web, although I can show you something neat I can do with web. Let me get up here where I know I'm safe. And then, I um, guess I don't really need the raw meat. I've got plenty of cooked meat. But you can take web and make string out of it, which I'm assuming you'll be able to use to make bows, but I don't think that's implemented yet. And I need to go ahead and eat some of this cooked meat. Speaking of that, just so my hunger doesn't run out. Oh, I can uh, cook this meat because I have fire. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just to clean up my inventory. It's a good thing the fire can't burn you. Alright, I cooked some meat. Uh, do not need this web. Do not need this string because I'm pretty sure I can't make bows yet. Although there are bows, but the menu says they're not implemented yet. I will make some health potions because those are useful. And, oh, enemy die. I would like to see some dungeon stages, but I think those only come later when you're further. I'm already at District 10, though, so they should be coming soon, for sure. Well, there is nothing useful in this town, so I'm just going to kill them and take their money. Bunch of jerks not giving me stuff. I want to smelt my ores. I don't want to talk to... Oh, wow. Okay, I can't leave this stage until I beat the boss, so I've got to kill this dude. Which, these dudes can be a little bit difficult, a little bit tricky, because they shoot stuff at you. And they take a few hits to kill. Oh, and my thing broke! Ah! 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 You're not dead yet. Why are you not dead? Okay, now he's dead, and I got some raw meat out of it, which is pretty cool. And I can go ahead and clean up my inventory by using this last fire and cooking that meat. So now I have plenty of room for stuff. And I've got some gold meam ore that I could totally be using and some stone that I don't need. Well, let's keep moving. And now I have a gold meam blade that I just built out of my gold meam blade. So we're going to come here because there's plenty of rocks in the cave that I can mine for some gold meam ore. If there is any gold me, I'm right now only seeing ironite. Ah, spider. My spidey senses are still tingling. I'm not sure what this bar up here does. Right here, but um, sometimes it grows and gets in the way of the mana bar, which is interesting. So I'm assuming that's probably going to be fixed for the final release of the game. It looks like the bars grow as they get bigger, while really they should just uh, decrease slower as they get bigger, I think. So I'm sure that'll be taken care of in the final version of the game. Uh, you can't do anything with these spider eggs right now. I don't even think they hatch or anything, so that's good news. Good news, bears. 
I need to come up with an animal that starts with G for the alliteration, because the only reason bears is at the end of bad news is because it's from that movie, but also the alliteration. It's catchy. Alright. Killing stuff all over the place and still not leveling up. I need a little bit more before I level up. Alright, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and grab some gold meat in here. And hopefully there will be a place to smelt these ores in the next town. And treasure chest, which apparently there was nothing in. Grabbing some gold meal. And the scaling of getting utensils works incredibly well in this game. Alright, there's a dungeon uh, town. Hopefully there will be a dungeon stage so I can show you that one because that's pretty neat. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and grab some ironite just so I have some... No, I have plenty of ironite blades though. I don't need to worry about that. Dungeon Town. Ooh, okay, every time I've bought a Diamondite Blade from anybody, I'll show you here. Um, and I build something out of it. Oh, wait, no, no, no! If you buy a Diamondite Weapon, then it uh, breaks really easily. But I'm not sure if it'll do that when you have this. Like, I've gotten gypped from shopkeepers because their weapons only have one durability. So let's try uh, building a Diamondite Sword here. All right, 250 durability, that was perfect. Um, I can also get the Great Blade and show you that. Because those are pretty neat as well. Which you have to build an axe handle for those, so... I don't need the mushrooms, don't need shrooms, because I am not a hippie. So if we uh, build a Great Axe, that does a ton of damage. It doesn't chop down trees though, so it's pretty worthless as an actual axe. So I'm going to go ahead and smelt my gold meum ores and build some more gold meum stuff. So we've got two gold blades and I'm going to build a golden axe. And my pickaxe is still pretty high on durability so I'm not going to worry about that for the meantime. I'm just going to hold onto the blade. But I don't need this wooden blade which I'm just going to store stuff in the bank here as I'm calling it. <laughs> and I don't need these stone blades because I've got plenty of iron blades. All right, moving up in the world. All right, a dungeon stage, so I can show you what that's like, but I'm probably gonna die here because these are tough. But there's some gold meum that I can mine, which is nice. And I'm gonna murder this slime with my ax, which takes so long to hit with, but it's fun. Die, it's pretty epic. Uh, kind of worthless because it takes so long to hit with, but it's epic, and that's all that really matters, let's face it. I uh, don't need this stone, but I would like the raw meat. No, I don't want that either. I want the raw meat. don't want the bones either. Bah! Oh, wow. That guy's a jerk. He's trying to kill me. Grab some gold meum, and there's a boar in this dungeon. Oh, boring. Ha ha. Ha ha. I am so funny. Oh, these guys are annoying because they shoot stuff at you. And when there's a bunch of them, it gets really annoying. Oh, I'm starving. I need to eat. Fortunately, I have lots of cooked meat to eat. And let's go ahead and mine some. Mine some more of my business. And there's an archer, so we're going to kill him before he gets a chance to shoot me. Like the annoying jerk that he is. And I'm going to build some more gold meum stuff later. Looks like I'm going to level up here. And... Uh, die. Oh, I need to heal. Fortunately, I have uh, three health potions. Like I said, the difficulty really needs to scale better in this game because right now it is a little bit easy to just build stuff and survive for a really long time. And the enemies don't ever really get more difficult. So they need to either add more enemies or make... He, he needs to add more enemies or make the enemies more difficult as the game goes on because right now it's pretty easy. I'm just going to skip these guys because I don't feel like dealing with that many swords. And there's no gold meal more down there for me to grab. And... Ah. 
By the way, uh, this game is supposedly coming out in January, so keep your eyes out for it on Steam Early Access in... No, maybe February. I think it's February. Keep your eyes out for this game in early February. Or late February or mid-February. Whenever it comes out. Because it is going to be on Steam Early Access in its beta phase. With more features even than it has now in this beta. Die. Die. And we're going to go the snow route. Alright, there better be a place for me to smelt these ores. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I mean about the durability when I buy weapons from these guys. I'm going to grab this axe, which I don't need this raw meat. And it has zero durability, so if I was to use it once, I'm going to show you this. Let's kill this guy for jipping me. Uh, the axe breaks, it's worthless, so I'm hoping that's a glitch. Maybe these guys are just meant to be jerks. Uh, but it's kind of annoying because I want to buy weapons, but they break. I'm going to keep going to the dungeon stages because they're a little bit more difficulty, and I like my games difficult. Not at all how I like my women. <laughs> ah, the thing's hitting me. And die. Alright, leveling up. Which I didn't level up, but I'm going to sooner or later by killing stuff. And we're going to grab some gold meum ore in the hopes that... There will be a smelting place at, or blacksmith at the next town where I can make some gold armor and gold weapons and stuff. By that time, I should have plenty gold meum ore to do whatever I damn well please. Which, that boar is in my way of being happy. What is behind there? I don't need this stone. Oh, it was a stone arrow, which I definitely don't need because I don't have a bow. I don't think bows are even implemented yet. Which they're going to be, and that's going to be pretty cool. Ouch. Alrighty. Let's get some more gold meum ore. And skedaddle. Oh, it looks like this is a boss stage because the exit is blocked, as you can see right there. That purple wall, I cannot go past it until I defeat the boss, whatever it may be. So I'm going to come back and see if I can find that boss. He might not have appeared yet, which is totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these health potions to heal up. But let's try to find this guy and kill him so I can move on and smelt my gold meat more. Which, um, there's a draw, there is a, an art for the final boss on the Magicite game page, or part of the final battle. Okay, here's the boss that I need to kill. I already killed you, bro. I'm gonna kill you with my Diamondite Blade. He's dead, now I can move on. Uh, but the final boss is like a really cool looking dragon. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. Don't know how far he's gonna make you go before you fight the final boss, though. So, I haven't seen any nature events in this playthrough either, but sometimes like there will be rocks falling and stuff, which makes the game a lot harder, but uh, like I said, the difficulty definitely needs to scale as you go on in the game, because right now this is way too easy for me, and this playthrough is probably going to go on for way too long, because of how easy it is, if you do this correctly. Dead. Dead dead, and I want some gold meal more. And let's go through the forest route. The deep grand forest. Okay, I'm not going to buy any weapons from this dude because he's just going to jip me and they're going to have zero durability. Nowhere to smelt, what the hell? I need I need a blacksmith, guys. <laughs> I'm running a little low on hunger so I'm going to eat this food. And let's go the dungeon route again because it's interesting. Ow, you can't hit me. I hit you, that's how it works, bro. Oh my gosh, quit swinging your sword at me, I'm supposed to kill you. That's how the game works. Well, by the time I actually smelt this gold meum ore, I'm gonna have a ton of it. But so far, no blacksmiths. No blacksmiths, no mas. Which I think no mas means no more in Spanish, I'm not actually sure. Ouch, no, no, no. Oh my gosh, too many enemies to handle. I'm 
which is fine. I can just run. And they can't get me. Ooh, I do want that gold medium, though, so I'm gonna have to kill some dudes. Ouch. That blade. Come at me, bro. Dare ya. Grabbing this ore. Gonna make all the gold stuff in the world. Haha, <laughs> he ran right into my trap of killing him. Same with that guy. He just sort of stood there and took it like a man. Deads. Deads. Dead, dead, dead. Alright, and gold me on. And let's kill this guy too. Oh, this video, I think, is going to be way too long. That's alright, because YouTube lets me upload as long videos as I want. But I'm gonna die here sooner or later. I mean, I kinda have to. And I'm gonna upload the whole video regardless of whether it's like an hour long or whatever. Although I do need to go eat dinner sooner or later. I mean, my chicken is defrosting and I kinda have to bake that for dinner. And I really want these gold meam ores. Maybe I'll run into the worm sooner or later and that will kill me. Ugh. More dungeons, awesome. Alright, a place I can finally smelt stuff. Let's take some gold meam ore. Alright, 13 gold meam bars, which means I have 14 gold meam things. Which means I can make gold meam stuff. Uh, definitely don't need this stuff anymore, so I'm just gonna clear it out of the bank. And let's make a gold medium shield. Alright. Which gives me higher defense. And uh, let's go ahead and make a gold medium helmet too. Alright. Don't need that helmet anymore. And after that I'm gonna make um actually I would have eight, seven, six, five. I'd have five things left. No, I need I need gold medium blades. So we're gold medium tools. Actually, no, I don't. I totally could have made stuff. Whatever. Um, I guess I don't need this ironite anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and make some fire starters so I can cook some meat later. I'm not getting very hungry, but that's alright. Um, let's see. I would like the diamondite bar. No, I can make a diamondite blade. And other than that, let's just keep moving the dungeon because it has the best chance of killing me and I need to go eat dinner. Ouch. Alright. And we're gonna get full set of gold meal armor before I'm done here. I am not gonna die to slimes. I refuse. I'm alright to dying to these skeleton dudes. I'm being really careless right now because this video is already going a little bit long and I need to go eat dinner. And like I said, you can see what I mean by this game needs to scale more in difficulty. Um, but that will probably come with the final release. More biomes, more enemies, and hopefully enemy uh, difficulty scaling. But... For the meantime, this game is still really fun and it's interesting to see how far you can make it. Treasure chest. Nah, I want the gold meam. You're gonna die, bro. And I don't need this stone. Gold meam ore. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my last health potion. and skedaddle. Which supposedly there are going to be a lot more bosses and stuff too in the final, which will hopefully make the game a bit harder as well. Because like I said, I am a huge fan of difficult games. Oh my gosh, quit shooting me. And this boar is about to run at me and then I'm just going to sort of run away from him and kill the bee.
Cooked meat, awesome. That will feed my hunger. Let's die. Ouch, no, no, no. I want the gold me, I'm not the boar. Dude, you gotta quit attacking me, that's rude. Yeah, I guess we're going to the cave town. Because they didn't give me an option. And this town has... Oh, it does have places to smelt. Nice. So, I've got eight gold ma'am. So I can make four gold ma'am bars, which is enough to make my gold shirt. I will be blinging straight up. Don't need, don't need you anymore. And I don't need you. And I can start a fire to cook some meat. Oh wow, boss showed up at the town. That's interesting. I'm wondering if that's supposed to be that way or not. Regardless, I can start a fire and cook some more meat. To feed my hunger. Because I'm a hungry growing man. And let's go forest route. I haven't been there in a while. Die. Ouch, it hit me. That was reckless. I have four health left. I should die here pretty soon, hopefully. Um, wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. Let's grab some herbs. Actually, I think I'm just going to go ahead and die, um, because uh, I need to go eat dinner and stuff, so you can kill me, bro. I'll take it, like a man. Alright, so, um, that is another playthrough of Magicite. Now you can actually see that you can craft more stuff than I was showing off yesterday, and it's pretty interesting. It's still really fun. I would like to see, uh, for kicks, just how far I can make it eventually, but... I'm not sure how long this video went, but I feel like it went way over uh, the time that I wanted it to go over, so that's why I just killed myself there at the end. But uh, Magicite, definitely keep your eyes out for it on Steam Early Access in February. And other than that, I will see you all later, probably tomorrow. Peace out.